diversity. It's a kind of inspirational thing. I actually have to say fun. I don't think I've ever been bored. I've always had an interest in travel and tourism, so in some ways it's just the next step. It's all about the real world. It roots me. It keeps me in touch with the world around me. I think just the diversity of it. Um, political, social, the physical side of the human, just it combines everything. Welcome to the Royal Geographical Society with the Institute of British Geographers. I'm Steve Brace and I'm Head of Education here. And what the society stands for is to promote geography. That is, an understanding of the world's people, the world's places, and the world's environments, and the interactions between them. What this video will do is show you the value of geography to further study and also in your careers in later life. My name's Lisi Verasami. I'm 26 years old and I'm a weather forecaster and presenter at Sky News. I took geography at A-level because I enjoyed the subject so much, I found it very diverse and from that carried out a degree in geography and earth sciences at Brunel in West London. A lecturer put me in contact with someone from the PA Weather Centre based in London in Victoria and they write weather forecasts for worldwide public publications, mostly for newspaper and radio and it sounded like, it sounded like a perfect opportunity so I contacted them uh, while I was still at uni and carried out some work experience with them. I thought what's, what's the harm in writing to Sky News and seeing if they've got any weather forecasting positions or presenting positions and um, on the back of that I ended up with a job here at Sky News. Hi my name is James Cheshire, I'm studying geography at the University of Southampton. Uh, this summer I'm off to Alaska for two months to do my dissertation and get some fieldwork experience. With my school I went to Iceland as part of a field trip there and that's the kind of thing that really inspired me about glaciers and wanting to get involved at degree level. Well, my name's Kate, uh, I currently work at Full Stop Property Consultants uh, which is based in London and I'm an associate, was made up uh, this year and I've been working there for about five years now in the residential valuation department. I see a, a broad range of property ranging from penthouse flats to grotty bedsits. I see of the full full range, I uh, see development sites, um, affordable housing schemes and I basically go out and value them, inspect the properties and then write up a report which usually goes to a bank. Well on finishing my A-levels um, I decided I wanted to go to university and I thought um, I wanted to keep my options open for as long as possible. I was interested in property at that point um, but I wanted to be flexible, keep my options open. I thought geography was great, it was always an area that I was interested in. My name's Hayley, I graduated from um, Brunel University um, seven years ago um, and I now work for Volunteer Centre Camden which is a small um, voluntary sector organisation so we're a charity um, and I'm the director here. I've been here for just over a year. I've worked in charities actually since I graduated. I'm the director at the centre which means that I manage all of our staff um, and some of our volunteers. So overall I'm responsible for a team of four staff and about 20 volunteers. I'm responsible for sort of like interagency work. I meet often with kind of a lot of organisations such as social services, the youth services, talk to them about how to promote volunteering. There's an organisation called the Pirate Club that teach kids to swim and they do this from kind of a pirate ship um, that's kind of next to a pool that's got like swimming facilities and stuff so people can volunteer to go and play pirates for the day which is quite popular. Uh, my name is Clifford Pereira. I started off looking at family research, family history, uh, which at first doesn't sound to be geographically related, but in my case, because I'm an East African Asian uh, living in London, it actually involves three continents. So whether I like it or not, geography is a big part of my family history. At the moment, I work for a GS developer. We do GS software for um, various customers around the world and I got there from Germany through a degree first as a land surveyor where I was mostly based on environmental surveying, land cadastre, sewage system, utility systems. Um, went from the surveying to the army um, where I did um, less technical work but more exciting work. Um, from the army I went back into land surveying and started with GIS mapping, computer mapping, 
and um, since this was quite exciting, I went on to study GIS at Kingston University, um, got my degree in GIS and um, started to work for a GIS developer. My name's Sally White. Um, I work for Ordnance Survey, which is Great Britain's national mapping agency. Um, and at the moment I work within the public affairs team. Um, my job is the international relationship manager. And that means that I manage Ordnance Survey's relationship with all the national mapping agencies um, across the world. Um, when I went to, to university, that was when I started doing a lot more of the, the GIS and the mapping and using mapping, for example, for getting ambulances to an accident or being able to locate a supermarket um, and that kind of thing. And also, some of the, certainly using some of the satellite imagery, which I also used, that was only really at university. Um, and at the end of, end of the course, it was, it was writing to different companies saying, you know, I'd like to do GIS, I'd like to use the skills that I've learned. But Ordnance Survey was kind of Great Britain's National Mapping Agency and that's what I really want, or where I really wanted to work. I'm now working for the civil service. I've been working there for about four years. And at the moment, I work for DEFRA, Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs. And I lead a team in there which is to do with improving the air quality in the UK. So I'm trying to cut down on air pollution in the UK. Yeah, I'm the director of a project at the RSA called Carbon Limited, which is looking at a new policy innovation, which is around engaging individuals and citizens in tackling climate change. I have to persuade a lot of people about the importance of climate change actually and um, it's very hard to do that without a solid understanding of, of, of the issues. Actually I was lucky enough to meet Al Gore back in, um, in March. He was a job student and he's under, I assume he wouldn't have that deep an understanding of, of climate science but in actual fact he really knew his stuff and I was, I was really pleased because I thought well this guy did a geography degree he really knew his stuff, he was really passionate uh, for a long time about this and has emerged as probably, you know, perhaps the most important uh, leader on the issue of the modern era. And I currently work at the Science Council which is an umbrella organisation for um, professional and learned bodies in science and so we represent working scientists. went on to do A-levels at Sixth Form College and then from there I had three years out before going on to university. Uh, I worked a bit in my hometown um, I travelled quite a lot. Um, I worked in Australia for a year. I did some um, conservation work. I just kind of made the most of three years. And then I went to um, SOAS, uh, which is the University of London, School of Oriental and African Studies. And um, I did a BA in Geography. And I went to work at the Zoological Society of London, so London Zoo, which was really good fun. Uh, from there I went to the Natural History Museum and then from there I went to the Science Council um, to really promote science and the work that scientists do.